camino encontró un, un, un maíz que anda dos maíces que andaban allí en el camino del lodo y, y se lo come. Pico o no pico. Sí, pico. No podría ir a la boda de mi tío Perico. Que my mom read this part. She knows it. I don't know it. Don't know this part. It was kind of hard at the beginning. Uh, leaving my family, leaving my, my whole life, my culture. <laughs> Old way. <laughs> it was like a cultural clash. And then you feel in our society like a uh, inferior of any other people because you don't know the language. So it's basically after I become in, in, um, become part of El Centro de la Raza when I felt that my culture was reinforced. <laughs> We have a rich history to um, be proud of who we are and sometimes society takes that away from you. And I feel that El Centro by hosting cultural events, social events, everything brings back and, and reinforces you who you are and where you're from. And, and actually that's what I feel that I I form myself uh, in a way of being able to recapture my culture, my language, and by being proud of who I am, <laughs> and, and, and by being, uh, being able to pass that to our children who we work right now. <laughs> Jose Marti Child Development Center, we are proud uh, to receive the accreditation from the National Association of the Education of Young Children. When they came and do the accreditation, they told us that this is the only bilingual center for the ages that we serve um, in the West Coast. Vamos a da, hacer un collar para nuestra mamá. ¿Cómo se llama tu mamá? Noemi. Noemi, muy bien. We're proud to be uh, one of the bilingual centers and we were sad in a, in a sense that not that many places have dual language or bilingual programs because, uh, you know, languages is a beautiful art. <laughs> and uh, I see students coming at one year old and living at five years of age and fully bilingual, you know, you can see both languages. Let's keep it in the middle so everybody get access to these beautiful beads, okay? Mira que bonito We feel that we specialize in and teaching um, Spanish. <laughs> and all the teachers are native language, uh, Spanish speaking. And uh, we also uh, encourage the English, but they hear it. Uh, one time I told the speech pathologists if, we, if our, our pronunciation will hurt them <laughs> somehow. And no, they, it doesn't because they hear the conversations with their parents and everywhere. But the Spanish, you know, it's good to hear them from native language also so they can add. I don't remember when she, you know, the Centro is 33 years old and there's been, you know, thousands of people, there's, uh, you know, thousands of stories. There's a, it's got a dramatic history. It's got a remarkable history. Um, but I do remember at one point having a great difficulty 
in the children's center. We said, the, the leadership got together and said, we got a crisis to uh, confront in the children's center. And we said, Ilda, uh, for, the, for the time being, can you, be, can you direct the program? Since she took that challenge, it has not only been fundamentally trouble-free, but it's actually flourished. For a long while, our children's program, our Jose Marti Child Development Center, was one of, of a bunch of programs. Now, Jose Marti is the program. Meeting Roberto, oh, he is my hero. <laughs> Meeting him was a, a beautiful guidance to our lives. I, I could say my husband and I owe uh, Roberto who we are. Roberto in el centro de la raza because there's other leaders like Estela Ortega and other founders who really are committed to their community. So we kind of get the moral, um, how you say, um, guidance from them and you form yourself to behave in your community <laughs> because you have such a wonderful people that guide you. Well, my mom definitely is a huge influence in my life. I think since uh, the beginnings of how we came to Seattle is, is, has been a big factor. She was young and I was at the time three years old, you know, and it was tough for her because obviously this was a different environment for her. So, you know, she never kept, never gave up and continued fighting for what she believes is right and, and instilled that with my, myself, my brother, um, my younger sister, who we see as a reflection <laughs> of that if you've met her. So that's been a, a huge, huge impact. It was rough. Uh, it was hard at the beginning. <laughs> it was not easy. Um, how you say the transition and actually what I suffered while we were crossing, like we were three days without food, people chasing us, the horses and the helicopters. And uh, I have a little one crossing the border with me, some rats around, uh, very, very bad places. They say, what had I done? <laughs> Why did I came? I think that I wanted to improve myself and look at what happened. And um, the first thing I remember, those hostess cakes that they gave to my son <laughs> was, was so sad. <laughs> but somebody has given him that. <laughs> somebody gave him that uh, and uh, I was grateful. Uh, but it was it was kind of hard at the beginning. But later on, I by becoming bilingual and bicultural, I learned to appreciate both cultures, and I think I learned to love this country, and I have learned to continue loving my country, and I'm very happy now. ¿Qué pasó, hija? Afuera, por por un momento sí. I think the beans are ready.